What's going on, everybody? I hope you all are doing fantastic. Today for you, I have a different kind of video compared to what I did on Thursday last week. For all those you don't know who are new to the channel, Thursday last week, I started a new series on this channel called Windows Through the Ages. And basically that showcases kind of how Windows has evolved through the ages, looking at devices that were in each age of how Windows was made. Um, last week was Windows CE 1.0 with the HP 320LX. So about maybe next week, I'll have the next part out for Windows CE 2.0 and so on. Maybe we'll make it a two week thing every time, every two week thing. But today I'm going through the nostalgia wave once again. And I have for you guys Windows 95. I got Windows 95 running. It's just throwing me back like to when I was a kid born in 93. Windows 95 came out shortly after that. And uh, I just remember so much from it, especially the boot up sounds and all that stuff. So today we're going to look at that and just breathe it in, breathe in the nostalgia that is Windows 95 and all its buggy gloriness. Enjoy. <laughs> So as you know, this is the beginning sequence for Windows 95 and in just a little bit, you're going to hear the famous startup jingle that gives me chills every time I hear it. So let's take a look. So that was the famous, very famous startup jingle for windows 95 i can just say right off the bat like when i first set up this emulator to get this thing working it i had chills it was the most nostalgic thing that i have done on this channel so far because it's so close to me this this computer this operating system is essentially my first footsteps into like computing like as a child um i think i was like three years old when it came out and like it it, it just it was just so different in fact it came out august 24th 1995 ironically i am born august 25th 1993 so i was about two years old getting ready to be three years old in fact no no sorry i was i was one year old getting ready to be two years old when this thing came out and um it is just it was so fascinating to see this so right now you guys are already familiar by this time um how the channel works i'm gonna look through it and just see just how things have changed um so as you can see we still have the taskbar at the bottom down here and um you have the old volume control looking at it it, it just works it doesn't make a sound compared to like the more modern volume controls every time you click it it just but it's still the general layout of volume this is system properties right now i'm running this at 640 by 480 resolution just because i couldn't really get the um i couldn't really get the video display driver to work correctly so it would only let me do this um so that's why you guys are seeing this kind of stretched out a little bit on your screen uh but going deeper in you still have this familiar like user set of icons my, my computer you still have uh recycling bin inbox uh you have the internet which obviously does not work because these were the dial-up days and i haven't yet figured out the mod to get uh windows 95 on the modern internet yet it has to do with tcp over ip protocols and i haven't actually gotten that deep into figuring that out yet maybe a future video will come looking at the internet on windows 95. then you got online services and of course, if you were born in the 90s or before that and you were on the Internet at that time, you already know what the online services were like. You had essentially AOL, like everything else here to me doesn't really matter because the one thing I remember off the top of my head, AOL, they would send letters like they would send letters in the mail with CDs in them. And that's how you'd update or get a version of AOL or America online. That that's that's what you would do. It says free trial because that's what they always did. In fact, let's see what happens when we click on it. So it says, welcome to America Online setup program uh, to install America Online for the United States. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. And just looking at this, you can see how setting up things look like back in those days, um, kind of like the IntelliShield uh, installation process look like. It says, with Internet Explorer 4.0. It's ironic because we got rid of Internet Explorer recently. Microsoft uh, said it's finally going away in favor of Edge, the Chromium Edge. And this is running IE 4.0. It says your display has only 16 bit colors, uh, 16 colors available. We've detected that your computer normally is currently set up to run 16 color mode 
All America Online features will be available for you, but for best results, we might recommend using 256 colors. Uh, yes, let's continue. So like I said, there is an update that I could have figured out, but I don't know how yet to let this emulator run 256 uh, colors instead of 16. So for now, this video is only going to be for 16. It says here, you may print a copy of America Online Quick Reference Guide now by clicking the print now. We will just continue. And then it's connected. It says searching for modem. It is not going to search for modems. I'm going to skip that because there's no modems anymore. We used to use cable modems back in the day. We used to use 56K cable modems to get online. Basically, for those people who are really young right now, younger than me, I'm almost 30, uh, what those basically allowed you to do is get on the internet. And the way you got on the internet during those days was you connected that modem to your phone line, your landline home phone. And even that's like asinine technology now. But you connect it to your landline home phone and then you would connect that into your computer. And basically, when anybody in your household wanted to get online, nobody could receive calls in the house. And I'm sure parents were very upset about that because mine definitely were. So that was how it worked then. Let's hit install. I'm just installing it to see how it looks on this, uh, just because you know it's it's so much different from the heavy UI interface that we have now. As you know, like Windows 95 came right out of DOS, so it's kind of like a, a DOS skin over, or Windows 95 was like a GUI graphical user interface over DOS, uh, MS-DOS. So let's hit OK, and I think it's going to load up in a second, so I'll jump straight in when it comes up. So as you can tell, I wasn't actually able to get it to finish. It kind of just froze on this screen sitting here, and it won't actually move, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, currently, if you want to see the specs of this current machine that I set up in the virtual machine, uh, it is obviously Windows 95 version uh, 4.00.950C. It is running with 128 megabytes of RAM because, as you know, during those days, um, this like was overkill for RAM because Windows XP, uh, I remember having 128 megabytes of RAM, I believe. Yeah, 128 megabytes of RAM in an old gateway. So for this on Windows 95, this is this is a lot. Um, you got Device Manager under System Properties, which lets you see all your devices and everything like that. Everything you have installed, hardware profiles, performance. You can see I have most of my resources free. It did support PCMI, PCM CIA slots, just like or just like uh, the HP 320LX I looked at in a previous video. So just let's look at the properties. I'm just it's so different from what we have now. Um, you got your background, and it was much different in terms of setting your own wallpaper. You could browse for a wallpaper. I don't have any connected right now. Um, they were these two file types and things like that, bitmaps. Um, so you can do that. These are the drives right there. So this is how you selected your wallpaper during those days. You see the classic layout. The screensavers, I remember these very well too, like 3D flower box. Let's see. So if we hit preview, we can see this was like the most mesmerizing thing back in the day when I was a kid. I remember my dad having a computer, his computer, his work computer on, and it had Windows 95 on it. And then it would leave it alone for a while, and I'd show up when he wasn't there, and I would see this wallpaper and I would, or this screensaver, and I would just stare at it. I would stare at it for like minutes and minutes on end. So this is... All their nostalgia. Um, we got the flying windows as well, which basically does this. It's kind of like trippy. See, Windows is kind of pushing at you. This is the old Microsoft Windows logo. Um, it, it's it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And then next, you got appearance here. You got your schemes. You can have different schemes for Windows. Uh, we had different different schemes for VGA, and uh, you had like Spruce and. And I'm just going to go to normal, just like that. The original teal theme that we always have with Windows. It was it was quite a thing. I got to say, uh, Windows 95, it was quite a thing. Right click, it still brings up your range icons just like today. New folder and new shortcuts just like today. Um, properties is what we just saw. This is your start menu, what everyone is most familiar with on Windows as a whole. Your start menu with the Windows 95 bland branding. Um... You got your programs, America Online, you had um, all your internet tools. You didn't have Windows Media Player at the time. It was just called Media Player, and it was very basic. When you clicked it, 
this is what happened. It, this would pop up and this was it. And there's only one file on here because Microsoft always included a sample file for people to listen to to try out things. So here it is. Here's the Microsoft sound on Media Player. So that that was the Microsoft sound is what they called it. And basically, that's the boot jingle for uh, Windows 95. Again, it just gives me chills when I hear that sound. It's very nostalgic to me. Um, this whole video is nostalgic to me. Internet Explorer. Now, obviously, this was one of the days where we also didn't have Outlook. And while that Internet Explorer loads up with that error there because there's no Internet access, uh, you can see here there is, where is it right here? It is right here. You got your calculator. This is how the calculator looks like. And it looks kind of similar, but it's just obviously 95 eyes. Uh, it says the internet cannot bring up the internet site that because there's no internet but this this was internet explorer this is what we dealt with we dealt with this area here that showed um like the ie logo kind of uh moving around over time as you're just doing things you had these general things here this was during the era where there weren't really toolbars but toolbars started getting popular after this where people had like a thousand toolbars here um ask jeeves the website was available during these times um, you had fonts, print, and various options here. Options. It it's it was a lot. It was it was very very. It was a simple time. It was it was a much simpler times back in those days. Um, let's click on the internet just to see. It says, oh okay, so it's telling you to get connected. You see right there, it connects to your telephone, and therefore when you try to get online with dial up, uh, you then cannot get phone calls because the internet is using the phone line. Once you disconnect from the internet, because it has to dial it, um, then you can get phone calls again. So that's what they're telling you there. I'll exit the wizard. Let's see if AOL finished. Nope, it never finished. So yeah, unfortunately for that internet issue, maybe I'll make it later. But one other thing before I go, um, these were one of the times where uh, we didn't really have Outlook either. And so uh, there was just inbox for mail. And a lot of people just used AOL, America Online for mail, because that was their internet provider was AOL. Um, so that was really just how it was startup. There's not much, um, overall, there's not much internet news, not much either. Um, one thing I do know that is missing and it's probably because I didn't update this to like the more recent one. This might be like base, um, RTM 95, um, is we had network neighborhood that was here as well. Uh, so it was just, there's a lot of applications that were just new and different. And so I guess in the future video, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna look at some other applications, um, in different old OS's. Uh, maybe Windows 98 will be the next one, or maybe Windows 2000. Or no, Windows 98 will go in order. And I know that one had some huge changes. That's when I started playing Age of Empires 1 and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's just a, I guess I can't call it brief, but that was a brief look at Windows 95. There's a lot to it. Um, and maybe I'll get this thing uh, patched up and fixed so that way um, I can show you guys the true features of it and see how the internet looks today on Windows 95. So uh, stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.